Today, I'm going to make a tasty snack called Pu Jia. The ingredients are crab meat, chopped chicken breast, pepper, fish sauce, salt, light soy sauce and coconut cream. We also need coriander root, garlic and spring onion, as well as eggs, oil, cucumber, shallot and red chilies. The last few ingredients are added to the dip, which will be vinegar, sugar and salt, reduced together in a pan. Once we've got our crab meat home from the market, we want to steam it, along with the spring onions and a little ginger. Leave everything in the steamer to sterilize the meat. When it is done, transfer to a mixing bowl. Add the chopped chicken. As the two meats are ready, we will prepare the coriander roots. First, finely slice. And this is done. Coriander roots are tougher than garlic, so we have to grind them up a bit first. Then add two cloves of finely sliced garlic. Both are now ready. And start thumping again. Until we get pounded coriander roots and garlic. I'm going to add some pepper, followed by coconut cream. Then, in goes an egg. The other eggs will be used when we deep fry the patties later. The scallions only need to be roughly chopped, they shouldn't be too finely sliced. When everything is ready, we are going to mix it all together in a large bowl. Mix the crab and chicken meats into the coconut cream and squeeze everything together. To season, add light soy sauce, just a little. Everything is now well mixed, and we can see chunks of crab meat blended with chicken meat. Now, use your hands to squeeze the combined meat into patties, or you can roll it into small balls. And we have pu jia patties. Leave them to rest. Now, it's time to work on the egg wash. Beat the egg. Add a little fish sauce to the egg wash. This is intended to give it some flavor. The oil is hot enough, so I'm going to dip the patties into the egg wash before deep frying. Remember to flatten the patties a little first. This helps them cook faster in the oil. While we are waiting for our pu jia to cool down, let's make the dip. This is the liquid that I've prepared earlier. You can check out the ingredients and the instructions in the cookbook. Follow the recipe and simmer the mixture until it reduces. Keep a careful eye on it. We are looking for a light brown liquid. It's not at all difficult to make. Now, slice the shallot and cucumber. Trim the cucumber first and half it. Don't slice too thin. Next are the red chilies. Everything goes into the dip. Our pu jia is ready to serve. We can present it as a cocktail dish. Put the solid dip ingredients into a small glass, followed by the patty, then a little dip, or more traditionally, like this. So, here it is, in two attractive styles. For the full ingredients and recipe, you can check out our cookbook. Follow the steps as illustrated, and you will end up with delicious pu jia.